Hello everyone, how's it going? So I just wanted to make a video because I, let me move this over like that. Boop. Anyways, so I just recently found out that there are people out there that literally do not have an inner monologue. Inner monologue basically means that, by the way, I've been in a monologue. Basically, an inner monologue is that in my head, I'm basically talking to myself. Like, I, like when I want to say something, I think of the words I want to say and I can hear them in my head. So for instance, let's just say I want to, you know, I'm thinking like, oh, I need to take out the trash. Like, or, you know, I need to take out the trash. I think in my head like, oh, I should take out the trash. You know, followed by an image of, you know, maybe I'll have an image of like, you know, dirty trash, whatever. But I'm more focused on the words of like, hey, I need to do the trash. I need to do the dishes. I need to do laundry. Oh, I wonder if so-and-so knows this. Oh, maybe I should go tell them this. Like I'm thinking the words in my head, like basically everything I've said to you would be going on in my head. And I know to some people that might sound crazy, but it's actually not. It's, it's very, very second nature. So the people that don't have the inner monologue, they basically, from my understanding, they have images, ideas, concepts, feelings, emotions put out there. And they base what they want to say off of those images, concepts, ideas, emotions. And it's kind of funny because I noticed that a lot of people that have inner monologues are actually really, really focused on like, wow, you don't hear voice, you don't hear your voice in your head, you don't think of what you want to say before you say it, you, you have an image, an idea, and all this stuff. To me, it's not crazy because, you know, I'm thinking of like animals, they don't talk. To me, like, they don't talk, so obviously, the idea that, oh, you'd have images, feelings, stuff like that, a general, just a general idea of something and you would act upon it or speak upon it. It's not crazy to me. What's crazy to me is that a lot of people are like, oh, you know, like, I just, I just know things or, you know, like, I just think about a picture or I just do this, that, that. To me, that's a little strange when you have the idea of, uh, like, when you use language. And I've watched probably like 10, 10, 11, 12 interviews with people that do not have inner monologue. And they're typically always asked the exact same questions like, how do you read? Like, like do you ever have arguments in your head when you're taking a shower or stuff like that? Which happens to people that have inner monologues. Like they'll go through previous conversations they had. They'll hear the voice of the person they were talking to. They'll hear their own voice, stuff like that. But a lot of the questions, yes, they do kind of focus on the voice thing and like what you want to say kind of thing, but they don't really address every opportunity or every situation where you might speak. And I don't know, I just came up with two questions. Well, one basic question and a second question that kind of piggybacks off the first question that I wanted to ask um, people that do not have an inner monologue. So the first question was, if you do not have an inner monologue, how do you prepare for difficult questions, conversations, or interviews? Difficult questions mean like, you know, you gotta ask somebody something really hard or you might be a boss of somebody or working with your, you wanna ask your boss something. You're thinking like, well, how am I gonna ask him that? Oh man, you know, like what, what am I gonna say kind of thing? Like, I'm not saying those are the words going through your head, but you know, you're like, you ever wanted to ask somebody something or talk to somebody about something and you're a little anxious about it or nervous, what is the process you go through to prepare yourself for the situation? And let me give you the idea from a inner monologue point of view. And if you have inner monologue, you're probably like, yeah, that's exactly how I feel. Maybe you're like, oh, that's kind of how I feel. But it seems a lot of people that don't really have an inner monologue, they, they're flabbergasted by this whole situation. And the whole thing is it's like, you know, in my head, if I know I need to have a difficult conversation or I'm going to talk to somebody about something that's uncomfortable, something like that, or I need to ask some uncomfortable questions, in my head, I basically am doing what I'm doing right now. Like, I basically simulate in my head the conversation. And you might think, like, how do you simulate a conversation with somebody else if they're not there? Well, the thing is, is that I might not know their exact answers, but I'll guess based off what I do, like, no. And I think this kind of goes with the whole um, no inner monologue thing is that there's just some stuff you just know or you just think you know, you know. 
you might just be like, I just know it. Maybe you don't necessarily know, but you really feel it, you know, you feel it. So I might be like, okay, somebody might be like, oh, what, what about, uh, hmm. I'm trying to think of a good example. I mean, one of the things was like, somebody might be like, you know, like, hey, you might be in an interview and they might say, hey, why did you quit your last job? And you know, I don't know what goes through the mind of somebody who doesn't think of the words, but I do kind of get what people might do when they think of the concept of quitting your job. Why quitting your job? You know, stuff like I get that. But in my head, I'm thinking like, okay, I hear another person asking me, so tell me, why did you quit your job? Your last job is a good, good company, you know, all that stuff. In my head, I'm thinking those words and think like, they might, they might say, why did you quit your last job? They might say, why did you quit your last company? I'm not saying those, are every, like I'm literally going, why did you quit your job? Why did you quit your last company? It's just the general idea and I put a sentence to it, to what I think they might ask. And then on top of that, and I hear that, sometimes in my voice, I might be like talking to myself in my head, but a lot of times I could put another voice to that where it's just a non-distinct voice, woman, female, you know, man, male, whatever. Uh, and so in my, in my head, I might hear another voice say, hey, so it says here you work for this company. Why did you, uh, what happened? Like, why did you leave? You know, and in my head, I'll answer the question in my head before, this is before the interview takes place. This is how I prep. I'm thinking like, okay, so if they ask me this, I might say, you know, I worked there for a little bit. Uh, it was a great company, loved it. I didn't feel that it was a good fit for me and I didn't feel like it was a good fit for the company. So I figured I would move on, like, you know, just that's just an idea of like what a person do, might do when they have an inner monologue. I'm not, but on top of that, I might have a visual of what I think, like while I'm talking about it in my head, I'm not just thinking of the words. In the background, this also actually goes in my second question. Let me put the second part in there too. So basically I wrote this down because I wanted to make sure I kind of got what I wanted to say, which is even when I am thinking words and sentences in my head, I still have visual pictures of what I'm saying. So I might say, I might talk about my last job, be like, well, you know, I didn't think it was a good fit. And I might have visual images or visual ideas, a visual concepts, or kind of be recalling, you know, past events that made me not feel good about my last job, made me not feel like I was a good fit. Anyways, so in my head still, so I, even when I'm thinking words and sentences in my head, I still have visual pictures, ideas, and concepts going on, but they're more out of focus and in the background, meaning that I'm more like it's happening. I'm seeing things in my head. I'm seeing images in my head. I'm feeling feelings in my head. I'm feeling emotions. I'm having ideas in my head, but I'm not focused on that. It's happening, but I'm not focused on it. I'm more focused on what I'm saying. Like, like if you're talking to somebody, maybe you're focused, like while you're talking, maybe you're focused on what you're saying. I don't know, but you're talking to somebody, you're focused on what you're saying, all kind of stuff is kind of like that. Like I'm more focused on the, in my head, like what I want to say, what I'm saying in my head kind of situation, but I'm still seeing images associated with that. Concepts are still coming to that and I'm still having emotions based off of what I'm thinking in my head. So I might think like, oh man, I really hope that they don't ask me this and I might be feeling dread, you know, something like that. So visual pictures, ideas, concepts going on, but they're more, so more not focused in the background. So I tend to not notice them as much, like I said, like they're in the background. I'm more focused on what I'm thinking in my head, like what I'm hearing voice wise, or what I want to say wise, what I'm saying to myself in my head, but I'm still seeing images and stuff like that. Um, so my question for people that don't have an inner monologue is basically the second part of the question is, when thinking about things, do you, in the background, think of words and sentences in your head and possibly hear them, but not notice it? And what I mean is that I get the idea of a concept or you might think about the situation, you might feel something based off what you're thinking, but how do you prepare for interview or a difficult conversation when you have to talk about certain things and you want to make sure you bring up certain points and maybe you might think, I don't know if you do or not, but do you think, oh, well, they might say something like this, so I should maybe say something like this or this is how I should react. Like, do you put words to it and do you maybe, 
So basically, I'm thinking of words and sentences on hear voice, like I hear my voice in my head, I'm thinking of what I wanna say, and I have visuals, feelings, concepts, and stuff going with that, but I don't really notice it unless I really try to think about that or try to concentrate on that. Is there a possibility that you might not think you do that, but you actually are talking to yourself a little bit, not a lot. Obviously, it's not the main way you do it, otherwise you would know it, obviously. But is there a chance that you might, you know, have a senses going on in your head and stuff like that, and you might not notice it? Anyways, that was my question. Like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you say.